Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a beautiful 31 degree Tuesday the 11th. Earlier, when I first came out here, I heard a, a train going by. Every once in a while, you can get the think things are just right, and you can you can hear them going by all the way over there. Sparky, is this our morning little thing, huh, buddy? What you got on your little schnauzer? That is literally, I know I say this every time, he's the most lovable dog. He's such a good boy. He didn't like the spider yesterday morning, though. That kind of freaked him out. He goes, I'm not used to that first thing in the morning. Well there, little woman? Yes, no, I am. I don't know what the temperature is or if it's the fact that we've been in the truck for the last hour and 15 minutes. It's so snug. It's cold. <laughs> Take me a moment to climatize here. I know. Anyway, you have yourself a wonderful Tuesday. All right. Looks like this is going to break off, and I think it looks like just a high fog. Supposed to be nice. Cool. I'll take it. All right. All right. Love you. See you bye there, little woman. All right. Bye bye now. So, what do you think? That's the demo. I don't. She wasn't that clean when I took it home. But there was a massive ECM update that I knew nothing about until it popped up. But uh, since I got the thing turned on, the fuel range. You want to see how you get that in there? So when I say push, that's an inner. And then when I say it's a joystick, so you got right, left, up, and down. So just when I'm talking, that's what I'm doing. So push to enter. You go, uh, by default, it starts out here. So go down to settings, click in, click right, I'm sorry. Go down to, it says configuration on the, uh, on the new ones. I do not ha know how to do it on this one. The 2020s are, are definitely different. Fault codes. There's none. Oh, look at that. But there's no active fault codes on this thing. Interesting. Whoa. Maybe I gotta reboot it. Because there was a that that update was huge. So I don't know. Well let's just take a look here. See so we got all these fault codes showing. So you go in the faults. Nothing. I'll go through a reboot here and see if they come back. Sorry, I got interruption from my son here, so I, I come back. I don't have an answer why the range is just always on. Maybe it was that way with the F3s. I, I, I just don't know. But um, I did a reboot, and uh, you'll see that it was just some lagging stuff from, from the update. So it just needed a reboot after performing the TST, the ECM update. Cool, man. Well, <laughs> I don't think it's going to clear off today. That still just looks like a fog layer of some sort. Well, let's take the old Demo F3 up front. We'll do a quickie around the block here, right? Right fast. A uh, R1250 RT K1600 something. I'm not sure which one it is. It's a 2020. I don't know if it's a Grand America, a B, or what it is. Fifty miles an hour in there. Crazy people. Man. I'm telling you, this sucker wasn't this clean when I, I know it wasn't this clean when I brought it home. Uh, let me pull over here for a second. I bumped the, I must have bumped the mirror when I was wiping it down. There we are. 
paint she purdy. She's all shiny. Whew, it is cold out here. And in one of those uh, RT Limiteds, it's the uh, other um, petrol uh, chrome edition. I don't know if it was at the back of the truck or the front of the truck or what, but that thing's nasty. It needs to be uh, sprayed off and, and detailed. It was bad enough yesterday, and it was, it was, I was just wearing, uh, I didn't have a coat or nothing on. And, uh, man, that was cold. It's funny how cold that water can be. Oh no, let's don't find any wet roads here. I don't want to dirty up all my uh, all my hard work. So it looks like I'll uh, get to at least one of those BMWs. Oh man, I had it hooked up to the... Oh no, it set itself. How do you like that? It, it must have done it because it did that full reboot. <laughs> I still don't even know what the update was. I forgot to look. Search in the in the archives and see. Uh, let's go this way. There's nothing nicer than riding a clean motorcycle. It's like when you wash your bike and you take it for that first ride after it's all nice and clean you're just riding around your head all all up near you're as proud as a peacock <laughs> Whew. man oh man these gloves breathe really well <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Look at this guy. I don't think he's going 25. What are you? That's crazy. All it takes is something like that and somebody to, you know, look, not realize he's going that fast and pull out. And uh, it's, it's a disaster in many, many ways. Holy holy it's got a bite to it out here man i almost took off without my gloves i i thought well that's a little cool i'll throw my gloves on although i have to say they don't seem to be doing me a lot of good at the moment so uh i have no i never know what the selling price of these things are but I can imagine you probably get a smoking deal on this F3 Limited. One thing you know for sure, the ACS pump in the back works. <laughs> you guys remember the uh, sensor was funky on this one right out of the crate. What's weird is, you know, the suspension's different on these, so you know, I didn't realize anything funky was going on. Until I took Kelly for a ride, and that thing pummeled us. <laughs> that was a rough ride. You got no air in the sack. She rides low. And basically what happens if your suspension is right, if you're using up all your travel, or most of your travel, when you hit a bump, there's no room left to go. You know, it just poof, it bottoms out real quick. God almighty, is it getting colder as I'm riding out here? What's going on? I mean, it is hurting my hands. But the bike has only made it to 46. It's got to be colder than that. But yeah, it was just a, a faulty sensor. The right height sensor back there just didn't know where it needed to be. easy fix although it became a double fix because I wanted to ride the spider I took an extra f3 remember that orange one 
stole the sensor off it, put it on this, reset it, of course. When the new sensor came in, then I <laughs> had to put it on that F3. I got paid once, which was very little. <laughs> the labor for replacing one of those things is like next to nothing. And, uh, and so I got paid once and done it twice. It's a weird looking sky out here. Them clouds almost have that, it's about the snow look to it. But then I have a feeling it's just a high fog. Who knows? It is what it is. It's not raining, so I'm happy about that. Three hundred and sixty three, we must say three sixty four on it. I hope that's enough. I hope I don't have to take it home a couple more times, put some extra miles on it. I don't know what the minimum mileage is for uh, for BMW for a demo status. down take her for a test ride see what you think on her if you like it take it on <laughs> yeah they don't have them doors open today well they do got the one open I'm just gonna land it right here let them sort out where they want it all right so this officially is the last ride of the f3 demo I made up another tag I don't know what I've done with the other one. I had a spare little clippy thing there, so I just built up another one. The other key and everything's in the deal packet. There she is, the old F3. Didn't spend a lot of time on you, but it was fun while it lasted. The little short amount of time. <laughs> All right, I'm out. So this is a 2020 RT petrol dark edition. Just so you guys know what I'm talking about here, not think I'm completely bat poop crazy here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Customization. See, by default, it's set to off. But you can see range distance. Just have that turned on. I. I'm almost positive I had to turn it on on that F3, so I don't know if something changed or I'm just thinking of, of an RT or something. But anyway, that's where you go if you buy one of these. It's in the settings off to the side. It's pretty cool. Like I say, that's just an empty spot if that's turned off. Why not have something in there? I mean, you got your fuel gauge over here, but I like to know a number. But that kind of spooked me the other day when uh, it went ripping along there a little bit on a South Military Road, and all of a sudden, dunk, it went to three dashes, and the uh, the gauge disappeared. I'm going, hmm. But I had that shell station. I had a couple of options if I really thought I was in threat. But we made it. The camera didn't make it, but I made it to the gas station. She's full of nice, non-ethanol, super unleaded. Heck yeah, man. There we are. Almost got her finished before the end of the day. Guess I can take this off now. I take that off last. Because I'm up there putting the preparation for navigation on there. So I got the battery, all the safety check stuff you gotta go through. Woo! There's an amelance. Fire truck. But I got the uh chin fairing to install on it i do that tomorrow and then all the final checks and she'll be a runner then it's off to a k1600 i still didn't look to see which model that was i just know it's a k1600 all righty it's time to roll out so the oregon or at least that's where it's tagged the oregon person has i guess from the date it's deemed abandoned they have like seven days to come retrieve it or they come haul it away. 
the city will come take her. That thing's just been sitting somewhere for a long time. You can tell it hasn't been taken care of. I don't know what the epi epidemic is about people abandoning campers and trailers, but it's crazy. I just don't even get it. But just one of them things in life, I reckon. I forgot to come on saying we're leaving. We left. We left. <laughs> we're about, I don't know, five or six miles from Woodland. Woodland, Washington. Damn, what? I look up, I was gonna say earlier that the clouds never burn off. Well, now it's misting out here and those beautiful mountains you normally see, you see nothing. I don't know if that means there's a wall or rain or fog up here. It looks like fog. Anyway, heading home. We'll see y'all at the house. Well, hello there, you two. How the heck is everybody doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I know. <laughs> Hour or so. Thought we got gas. Just the normal rituals coming home. But, um, yeah, that old whatever is going on, the cloud or fogs, whatever, she's never burned off. No, she stayed cloudy Even and the, cold. Yeah, I don't know what the, the temperature, I think I looked at one point and the spider said it was 46. I'm like, there's no way it's that warm. I was cold. I don't know why I was cold. Because it was cold. Oh, you know what? I got vents and stuff open. But what was really cold was my hands for some reason. And I've taken you guys for riding with ice on the ground and wearing those gloves. And I don't know. Either I was in a funk or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the temperature gauge on the spider was lying to me. Yeah. It felt that's cold. It. But yeah, it was a, it was a good day. A um, mixture of spiders and BMWs today broke up the. Not that I consider it monotony. I was still very exciting over the, oh the RTs and stuff. It's nice. I still I still got two of them down there with me, and it's like walking past. I got a chrome and a black or dark edition of the petrol. <laughs> I think they're hot. Sure is pretty color. Oh man, yeah, really pretty out in the sunshine. Yesterday oh, we were bet. looking at that one. Wow, that's really pretty in the sunshine. But I ain't got a whole lot to say there, Moss. So might right. as well just let these kind folks go on about their business. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. All right. I think it's supposed to be Sunday tomorrow, so... Yeah, get your fingers crossed. Yeah, maybe we'll get a couple of test rides in. Mm -hmm. Maybe a Beamer and a Spider. We'll just get... We'll just go full circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys very much for watching. You guys take care. We'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye now.